to Forza Horizon 4 with a, another rally car build. And then, well, it's a weird one because you already start off with a rally car. This is the Ken Block Gymkhana 10 Fiesta RS. It's a bit mental. It has the potential to be very fast around here. We actually don't need to do any convergence. It already has its all-wheel drive. We can put the more powerful turbo rally engine in, but I doubt we'll need it. We can go for bigger tires, so we're going to go for those. Um, this should be pretty darn good handling. We're going to go for interestingly better brakes. I don't know how... How do you take 200 pounds out of this car? How is that possible? This is a fully stripped out race car. I guess you can take the passenger seat out, can't you? Technically. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put the turbo on. And... Oh, you've got to be... Jesus Christ. Um, you... You... Okay. Um, you and you. Interesting. We have to go for the bloody engine swap. Wait, hand. What if we do this? I don't want to use. I want to use the salmon engine if I can. Um, you. Hey, perfect. Look at that. That's perfect. Six hundred and twenty-six horsepower. Five hundred and fifty-two foot-pounds of torque. That's twenty-seven hundred pounds. Not the best power to weight ratio. However, it is a full-blown race car, so it might actually be rather good at this. Alrighty, first run for the Kenny from the Block car. We shall see how it goes. It has a lot of things going for it. It's as powerful as some cars. It's lighter than some cars. So the the I might have to let you get out of the way. Please go past me without crashing into me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Transit. Yeah, it's crazy powerful. And, yes, it has short gear ratios, but this is the longest straightaway you will find this section here. Which means we'll have no problem with the gearing. And we have lots of downforce. And we have all-wheel drive. I mean, that's standard, but we have, like, more advanced all-wheel drive. We didn't just convert it. We also have a stop engine, which means it's designed for rallycross. This thing accelerates 0 to 60 in less than 2 seconds, which is the fastest 0 to 60 time we've ever seen. I took a look at it. It's a bit mental. Um, side effects, it is from Ken Block, so it's a bit slidey. <laughs> it, did, it did only have 375 horsepower to start off with, but it is still quite a mental machine. I love it. I actually saw this, not live, but I saw the uh, new Gymkhana Files episodes, and I believe this was in it. I think they're running this in Sweden. So, it's a bit of a uh, mental contraption. I absolutely love it. It kind of almost resembles a Fiesta-ish. You just gotta be really close at looking at it. So, this is pretty much the ideal vehicle for this. It's a rallycross car. Rallycross cars are designed for very short straightaways, ridiculously technical corners, how did I get that again? Good God, am I cutting it close. And since it has, I think it has like 700 pounds of downforce, it's mental. It has more downforce than some, than some proper circuit racers. And then it has, well, incredible brakes. So if this does not get to the top of the table, I will be a little bit surprised. I will be honest, I will be a little bit surprised. Because on this, I mean, on this first run, ooh, a 147. Interesting, interesting. Maybe it's not as good as I was expecting, which will be quite an upset. I do have a slight error in my previous statement on the on the run. Uh, this is a rally car, not a rally cross car. Don't know why I said that. So it's a little less surprising, but it does have the most experience. It won the World Rally Championship last year won every single championship you would have, for that matter. In fact, the driver, Sebastian, was it, I think it's Ogier, Ogier, um, won the Rally Cross World Rally... Let me restart that. Um, <laughs> Sebastian Ogier won the World Rally Championship driver's title with the M Sport Fiesta, so... 
Yeah, I don't know why that was such a struggle to say. English just kind of died there for a second, rest in peace. So, it has a lot to live up to, but it has to be a 143 from that Mazda. And it's not looking like it will right now. Unfortunately. I mean, it just is not having the overall pace, which is really interesting. It's, this is this is what it does. This is its life. And it's not being able to defend its honor. I mean, Ford won't lost the manufacturer's championship this year, in 2018, but I mean, still, they are Ooh, a little bit of a slide. That's not really what I wanted. It's not ideal, I will be perfectly honest. Oh my, that's not how you take that corner. Don't know why I took it like that. Let me just dive to the inside, even though that would be a stupid way to take a corner. There you go. I mean, it's an improvement, I think, over the first run, but I don't know. It's certainly not going to be 34 seconds. Not going to be 34 seconds. Ah, bugger. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I keep running wide, I keep running wide. That's not good. Not good at all. Not good at all, I say. I mean, it's faster down there, but I mean, it's just not... It's weird. It's it's a good handling car. Ooh. <laughs> it's a good handling car. It just does not have the pace. We're still a second faster. But a 146. It's not looking good for the Fiesta. Not looking good for the Fiesta. Final run for the Fiesta Hoonigan Edition. I don't think it's going to win. I'm hoping for a top three. I mean, getting into the 144, so that's going to be asking a heck of a lot. And I'm not sure if it can do that. I'm not sure at all, but we're going to give it a good try, you know? Also, I left out a little early, so we're going to have to take a minute and one second off. Um, my apologies on that one. Got a little, um, got a little over-eager, I guess. So it's fine, let's take a minute and one second off instead of a minute. That's how it works, but yeah, I think so. So, uh, carrying good speed from the 90 degree right. I should probably think of a name for these corners, I don't know. Uh, now cut close to the tree, that was very close. Um, mission accomplished. Holy crap, and that was good speed to the 90 degree right too. Sound like a Hollywood director. Or Hollywood studio. There we go. That was terrifying. Now, don't push it too hard. Don't push it too hard. This is our final lap. It all comes down to this. Don't mess it up here. Late break. Hit the middle of the apex. Perfect. Carrying good speed. There we go. Late apex. That's like the section of late apexes. Just because you want to have a good system, honestly, but you don't want it to be mental. Ooh. Y you want it... Yeah, you, you want to have late apex so you don't run wide. Running wide in those corners is impossible. If you run wide, you are done. It, it's just a fact. If you run wide, you're done. There we go. There we go. Nicely done. See you there. Flip the corner, and... Holy crap! That was an amazing run! <laughs> we just beat the Mazda! Oh my, that, I could never do that again. You know what, I could never do that again. Ho ho ho! I think that just might be one of the best runs I have ever accomplished in my entire career on any on any rally series I've ever done. Oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. That is absolutely incredible. I'm blown away by myself with that one. And the time after reviewing the footage from the jump starts, I realized, well, it jump started by five tenths of a second, which when you when you add that to the one minute forty two seven, sadly it puts it at a one forty three two. 
it is less than a tenth of a second slower than the Honda, than, than the Honda, than the, than the Mazda, which I have to give credit to the Mazda. It beat, it held off a fully modified, basically, S1 class rally cross car, rally spec car. It was ridiculous. We close. It was probably one of the closest finishes we've ever had, and I, I so wanted the Fiesta to do well. I wanted to do real well, and then it couldn't. I was so sad. But that is the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. And that will be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 4. We'll be back with more.